You ever seen a crazy person flying an airplane without their hands on the controls? How are they doing that? Maybe they're flying it with their feet. Here are the different ways you can control an airplane. Let go! Boom! So check it. To control an aircraft, you have two different sets of controls. You have your primary controls and your secondary controls. These controls can be used one at a time or in conjunction and collaboration with one another to control the aircraft and do a variety of different things. So let's set it off and talk about primary controls and secondary controls. Let, 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 let go! Hey! Before we can fully understand how to control an aircraft, we first have to understand understand what exactly are we controlling. So let's review the parts and section of the aircraft. Boom, this is us right here. We floating that thing in, we turning on final. We slipping and dipping that thing, baby. Hey, caution, wait turbulence one time. So as we coming in, let's talk about our parts of the aircraft. First, of course, we got our wings running across the top here. Nice and simple. We got our nose in the front of the aircraft. The rear of the aircraft, of course, we have our tail section. Our tail section also goes by another name. We have our empennage in that tail section. Then when we come forward from the tail, we got something called the fuselage area of the aircraft. And then, of course, at the bottom, we have our landing gear. So those are the simple, basic overview parts of the plane that we're flying here. Now we want to make sure that we know, understand the parts. Now let's talk about how we can control that thing when we swing in and bang it. Hey, let go. Your airplane operates on three different axes, and you can pretty much do three different movements with that. You can roll the aircraft, you can pitch the aircraft up and down, or you can yaw the aircraft. And those are the movements that we're gonna be talking about right now. Yaw, pitch, and roll that thing. Our first movement is the roll, nice and simple. Roll that thing, roll that thing, roll that thing. And the pilot can roll this aircraft using, of course, the ailerons. The ailerons are located on that outer leading edge of the aircraft, and you can use that simply focusing in on rolling the aircraft on those controls on the inside of the airplane and all that you're simply doing is moving the airplane on its longitudinal axis that longitudinal axis runs from the front of the aircraft to the rear of the aircraft so think about a rod running from the front all the way to the rear and you're just rolling on that space you're rolling on that rod that's what you're doing here when you're using the ailerons to control the aircraft. Next up is pitch. So after you roll that thing, you gotta pitch that thing. So now we're talking about pitching that thing. And when you pitch it, now you're doing it on the lateral axis. That just runs from wingtip to wingtip. So think again, think about a rod running again from wingtip to wingtip, and you're gonna be using that rod to pitch this aircraft up in the air. And that movement that you're gonna use to do that, if you use the ailerons to roll it, to pitch it, if you can guess what we're gonna be using, since it's gonna be moving in this direction, we're gonna be using these guys right here, the elevator. You're gonna be using those elevators to pitch the aircraft up or down when you're flying and swinging and banging that thing. Boom, next up is that yawing motion, that side to side, that yaw, yeah yaw, yeah yaw, yeah yaw of the aircraft, and that's controlled on the vertical axis. So think about a rod going right down the middle of the aircraft and you're just controlling that yaw with it. How do you do that, of course? You're using the rudder pedals. The rudder pedals are located on that leading edge of the vertical stabilizer. Right on the edge there, you can control those rudder pedals in the inside of the aircraft using your feet, baby. Like you're doing the merengue on your feet, swinging and banging that leading edge of the vertical stabilizer left and right, left and right, and left and right, and left and right. And that keeps that plane nice and straight as you're floating that thing across the air. You notice where a lot of these stabilizing situations are, whether it's on the edge here with our aileron, whether it's our elevator, whether it's our rudder. These are those course, those primary flight controls that we're using to control the plane. These can be used simultaneously. They can be used in conjunction with one another. They can be used individually, one at a time it's all about what exactly you're trying to do and what maneuver you're trying to execute inside the aircraft and these are our three primary flight controls we of course use those ailerons to roll like we roll in that dough on the aircraft you use the yoke to pitch that thing and then we use our feet the rudder to control that y'all yeah y'all yeah y'all yeah y'all boom now that we got the primary flight controls out of the way here are the secondary flight controls that can be used to control your aircraft as well first one up on the list of course is the flaps one of my favorite right here you got the flaps where you have the ailerons sitting on the outside of that leading edge come forward inside that's going to be your flaps so next time you check out those flaps and of course you can operate those from inside the aircraft and what do flaps do increase lift and reduce drag can be used in a variety of different fun 
ways in the aircraft can be used on a lot of your fun landings that you're going to do can be used on takeoff if you're going to do any kind of like short feel soft feel anything that's fun flaps are for fun the f and flaps are for fun and you want to be flapped out up in that thing man so that is the secondary flight control that can be used as well so you want to make sure and make note of that another one on the list is the trim one of my personal favorites as well and that's located in the rear of the aircraft on the elevator the leading edge the outside edge you'll check that out boom check it the next time you're doing your pre-flight this is always a great opportunity for you to become very intimate and familiar with your flight controls you have to go around and check them anyway and make sure everything is nice and secure so make sure you're doing a mental checklist that's an easy way to start remembering some of this stuff particularly if you're in that student pilot stage and you want to make sure that you get acclimated to everything so you check you say okay i'm gonna check the aileron on. I'm going to check the flaps. And then when you come around to the rear of the aircraft and you're looking on that horizontal stabilizer on the back of the aircraft, you're checking out the elevator, look for a small little section that has some grooves in it, maybe located on one of those elevators that may be your trim right there. That is your trim, that small little groovy section that's sitting right there. Some aircrafts have two, some only have one, but that is your trim section. And that's controlled on the inside of the aircraft using that wheel where it looks like, looks like you're on the price is right. Got to roll that wheel to hit the number. Hey, 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 you coming up and down. One of the most fun controls you can have on a plane. It's almost like having autopilot without having autopilot, where you can kind of trim yourself into a nice configuration, into a nice situation there. Particularly if you find yourself fighting the controls. Remember in aviation, you never want to be fighting the controls. No jerking, let the plane do the working. And while you're doing that, if you feel like, hey, I'm always pulling back, I'm pulling back, and I got to hold it right here, I'm muscling this thing just to keep it on heading, just to keep everything, just to keep the pitch going, give it the trim that it needs. And that's going to make your life easier. You can release your hands and have that loose fingers on the controls because you put enough trim in there to keep it nice and steady if you're in a climb or to keep it straight and level or to keep it coming down nice and slowly, whatever you're attempting to do in the moment. This is how you want to use trim very effectively when you're flying an aircraft. You never want to be fighting against anything. There's no need to be doing that. And you want to let the aircraft do what it's designed to do, which is to fly. Boom! We trimmed out up in that thing, man. Hey, one time. I am Donovan Batiste. Hey, and this is Leadership Mindset. These are the primary and secondary controls that you need to float that thing through the sky. Subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to like this video, comment, share this video, and subscribe to this channel for more free content for everything that you need to know to get your pilot's license, or if you already have your license, to stay current, to stay proficient, to just create a community of people where we can chop it up and talk game about them planes. Hey, one time, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Lego!